Hi, my name is Bill Robertson, and you might know me better as Dr. Skateboard. Welcome to Dr. Skateboard's Action Science, a video series where we explore the concepts of physical science and how they relate to skateboarding and BMX. This video segment covers Newton's laws. Sir Isaac Newton put forward some groundbreaking science back in the day, and now we can explore these laws through skateboarding and BMX. So let's check out Newton's laws. There are three of Newton's laws of motion to explore in the area of physical science, and they incorporate concepts found in the videos on motion and forces. Newton's first law states that objects in motion will remain in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. It also states that objects at rest will remain at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. The key point is that all the external forces cancel each other out. Then the object maintains a constant velocity and stays in motion. If the velocity is zero, then the object remains at rest. How can an object stay in motion? Well, inertia is the resistance of an object to a change in its speed or direction. And with inertia, objects stay in motion. Objects in motion and objects at rest both have forces acting on them. These forces can be balanced or unbalanced. What is a balanced force? Well, it is any force that does not cause a change in the direction or speed of an object. For example, when a skateboarder is performing a move like a hand plan, the forces are balanced when the rider stalls on the coping. What is an unbalanced force? Well, it is any force that causes a change in the direction or speed of an object. Friction, or drag, is one example of an unbalanced force, where a rougher surface can slow down a rider quicker than a smoother surface. Friction causes a change in inertia, but most riders know that and will use the forces to find a balance between staying in motion and remaining at rest. A skateboarder dropping in on a ramp is a good example of this principle. Just prior to dropping in, the velocity of the skateboarder is zero, since, in physics terms, the skateboarder is at rest since there are balanced forces acting on the rider. When the rider drops in on the ramp, the forces of gravity, thrust, and friction are encountered. As the rider's velocity increases, he also encounters friction or drag from the wall. So unbalanced forces cause changes in speed and direction, and riders use this in order to calculate the best course of action. 